Hello. Well, I don't do too many of these voiceovers uh, here lately, but I want to do this one. Uh, this is because uh, the other day I was screwing around and looking around, and I found out how to use a joystick with No Man's Sky, which is uh, not a huge, not as much as an improvement as I thought. But I'm hoping I can tweak this some more. Anyway, you got to use a program for this, and. I have no idea how safe this program is. You're completely on your own on that. I've, I've, I've scanned it with malware bytes, and it hasn't destroyed my computer, but this is all at your own risk. The name of it is, well, I was looking at the name of it. It's X360CE. Yeah, X360CE. That is the name of the program. A little freeware piece of software. And all it does is it um, detects your joystick or whatever the hell you got, and it maps it. Maps it onto a standard um, Microsoft gamepad or some kind of gamepad. It fools the game into thinking your joystick or whatever you got is actually a gamepad of some sort. So all your all your joystick controls are mapped onto a are mapped onto the controls for a, for a gamepad, and um, it's a little complicated. This, uh, this Reddit post that I'm looking at here gives you some hints on how to get the thing working to begin with because you gotta, you got to use some particular settings to do that. I should probably, if I'm feeling generous, I should probably post the, the, the URL to that, to that Reddit uh, post and to, the, and to the software itself, which might be helpful. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, this is the three. This is the 360 program itself. These things I'm circling right there. Those are the crucial things you have to do. Those settings there have to be just like that. Just like I show them there in order for this thing to work at all. Apparently, I've got that much set up. And then after that, it becomes a matter of tweaking around with uh, how you got the control set up. And I don't know that this thing works perfectly. Like, for example, I don't think I ever did figure out how to get it to invert properly so that the joystick was inverted and yet the, the other controls were, and yet the, the, and yet the mouse was not inverted. I wasn't able to get one and not the other. The, ah, the game is a port, obviously. The, this software doesn't, may not be entirely perfect, but, uh, it does, it does operate to the extent that I'm able to use the joystick to fly the spaceship in No Man's Sky. Which again, uh, up to this point at least, it's not that big of a benefit. Um, it still feels like crap when you fly. It still tries to fly its help half the time, you know, which is screwed up, but I'm hoping I can, uh, tweak around. You do get, you do get, um, you do get uh, reaction curves, or yeah, I see all these little menus you can screw around with here. I, I think I got there's a there's some there's there's some yeah response curves. There you go. You can set up dead zones and all kinds of great stuff there, which is good to play with. That's what I need to play with so I can get the uh, so I can get the joystick working more carefully. This is the this is the page that lets you map the joystick controls to specific controls on the standard gamepad. Which is important because the game is the game thinks you're using this gamepad, so you got to figure out which of these gamepad buttons the big game is trying to use and map your controls onto the correct ones so that your controls work the way you want them to in the game. Yeah, and I've mapped like I think uh, I think I've mapped the I've got a Logitech uh, thing here with the twist handle, which the twist handle I'm using for yaw, and then the standard axis for pitch and roll. Okay, so I'm going to actually play the game here, and the first thing I'm going to do is completely ignore the flight and just shoot drones, because that's what I do. I still actually play this stupid thing. It's, uh, it's relaxing. I like the music. Uh, it's completely, it's always, it's completely the same thing over and over, obviously, but, you know, what the hell, I enjoy it. It's a nice, you know, I, I, I don't have to think hard. I can sit here and play for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, and after I get home from work and it's no big deal. I like the planets that I like the planets with the extreme. Um, I like the planets with the extreme environments because you get more stuff there, and it's a little more interesting because you constantly have to kill these drones. This planet has gravitino balls, and if you pick up the gravitino balls, the the dog robot comes after you, and he's a little bit tougher because he comes after you with a laser. But if you got your laser upgraded all really good, um, he's you can you can beat him. You just have to stay undercover. So it makes it's it's the melee is actually a little interesting. 
the shooting is a little bit interesting with him around. Yeah, and I'm just cutting through all the instances of me cutting of me shooting these drones here. And picking up nickel because I want nickel of course. Because I'm trying to upgrade shit. Yeah. I'm cutting I'm cutting I'm cutting out all the stuff where I'm not actually shooting out drones here, but actually you spend a lot on this on on a world like this you spend a lot of time shooting drones because the drones just come after you without provocation. It makes it a little more interesting. So I like I like uh I like planets like this. You can pick up valuable stuff real easy, lots of gravitino balls, there's emerald out here, there's all kinds of great stuff. And yeah, I'm trying to pick up another slot in the in the backpack, but I've already been here, I just haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, he thought I was gonna fly the ship, but no, yeah. No, this garbage just does work. I just probably just need to play around with it some more to get it to work properly. There we go. I'm now flying with the joystick. Now that, not that you can tell what I'm doing. I'm just testing it out to make sure. Yeah, I got the axes doing the roll. I got the other axis doing the pitch. It's inverted properly. The mouse is inverted wrong now because when I invert the joystick, the mouse gets inverted with it, and I don't want the mouse inverted. But I'm not using the mouse to fly this silly thing anyway, so I guess it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, and it responds fairly well, I guess, but the the, um, the response curves aren't right. I get too much response. I need to I need to I need to play around with the shape of those curves a little bit. Whenever I get around to that, I have to get back into those uh, into those 360 menus and play around with those curves a bit because it does let you it does let you shape them and do all kinds of shit and make dead zones and all the other great stuff. Yeah, that's about it. I should probably cut this short right here because there's really nothing more to see except me flying over this uh, featureless green landscape. Ah. I'm looking for a base with an airstrip on it. The bases with the airstrips on them have a uh, trading outpost, which is very useful because that's what I want to do is I just want to find a base with a, with a landing strip on it and then land near there and then travel and then walk around that whole area and pick up all the gravitino balls I can find and cash them in right there and make all kinds of money without having to fly back to the space station. Oh, my eggs are done. Okay. Oh, there's another backpack. I gotta pick up the backpack. Yeah, I can understand all the criticism this game has got because it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely the same thing over and over and shit. I, I think they really did a good job on the music. I always I always say good things about the music in this game because it's very relaxing. And I suppose, like a lot of other people, I'm still wondering about those portals. Well, I supposedly have homing grenades on this stupid thing, but they, but they don't seem to home on those robots too well. I'm not sure what the deal is with some of these upgrades. They're, they're powered up. They're lit up because they're all next to each other, but... Probably not using them right. I probably have to acquire a target or do something. I have, I have no idea what. Okay, well, I haven't actually. I don't play this thing constantly, I'm, or very religiously. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm not. I'm not really not bust. I'm really not busting my ass trying to get to the center of the galaxy or even upgrading anything. I mean, there's there were people that got to the center of the galaxy the first week this thing came out. I'm not. I'm really not worried about it. Although I suppose that might be the most productive thing to do. I mean, uh, trying to farm this thing for money, it's kind of a slow process. Even on even on even on planets like this where there's a fair amount of valuable stuff laying around, it takes quite a while. Especially cuz I have to keep stopping and upgrading this fucking gun and the ship and the suit and all this other shit. I still haven't gotten around to rearranging all my power-ups on the suit because none of them are touching each other and it's a huge pain in the ass to do it. You have to go up and farm all kinds of equipment and shit. Okay, now I'm just going to go fly up in space because there's there's gold asteroids right there and I want the gold asteroids. It's a huge pain in the ass to go 
ambulance here to get him, which is kind of fucked up because I kind of need him down on the planet's surface right now because I have to, because I'm right next to a landing strip and I don't want to leave it, but I need gold to run down there. Well, nice fish. Have a good day.